What's going on guys? It's your boy Triple G coming back with another Warpath video. Today guys, I want to go over what I would do differently if I had the chance. Yep, that's right guys. If I had a chance to go back and change up some of my habits, some of the things that I would do, a lot of you guys ask me like, give me some good advice or whatever. So if you guys are interested to find out more about what I would do differently and what could possibly help you, stay tuned to the video guys. Well, as you guys can see, I went ahead and took the gamble and uh, tried to get the, the new skin, and I got it. I did not have to spend quite a bit of money. I've heard a lot of people spending hundreds and still not getting it. I was lucky, and I think it looks pretty cool. I mean, what do you guys think? I saw this in the field today, why fighting, and I thought, man, I got to get the skin. It just looks super amazing, really crisp. I, I, I like it. I don't care for the buffs that much i mean they're nothing like super spectacular but i thought that uh that this base skin really really looked cool i liked a little cannon off to the side anyway let's not get distracted from the video today guys i wanted to discuss what i would do differently in the game so if you guys are new to the game or maybe you know playing for a little while um and are looking for tips and tricks these are some of the things that i personally in my opinion in my opinion me personally would change okay and number one is i would not have neglected the officers so much and what i mean by that is definitely uh in the beginning you know i got guardian of truth i paid for that right um and then i started working him up to 60 uh and then i went to percy you know and then i just kind of slacked off like i started working towards my uh artillery officers but you know I, I i didn't you know grind away at all the relative things that i needed like the jurisdiction or you know worrying about battle honors and getting you know major uh, statutes or you know putting myself into a battleground that i might win better i might not get one or two or three but if i would have got like top 10 or something i could have constantly been grinding away i didn't do that i was really relaxed about it um i didn't do the wheel you know the wheel is an amazing way to get and i know a lot of you guys are like yeah but the wheel is super expensive but it's not man you know and it leads me to the next topic which would be on research and i'm going to get to that in a second but it is very doable for players to save up their gold throughout all of the uh, battle honors, daily arms, jurisdictions, and stuff like that to save up that gold and, you know, just use it for the wheel. And I'm telling you, I get a tremendous amount, like 100 plus statutes just off of that wheel. Now, it's only a, every month, but, you know it it definitely would have added up and i think that a lot of people neglect their officers so much and i even did when it comes to you know their xp you know uh that's one of the things that that i would definitely have done differently i constantly did not you know do the officer missions i just got i was like you know forget the time frame whatever you know just I don't know, the game, it was a year old and, you know, I'm like trying to play it and I just, I, I just didn't care, you know, I logged in, I got my, you know, my stuff right here um, on my VIP, I got that and, you know, I would do different things and talk, but I, I just didn't grind away really heavy on the officers uh, missions and, and, I, and I think it was a shame. I think it's a, a shame for me that i didn't do that because now not all of them are up to level 60 i didn't grind away at it and now they're pretty weak and you know we have the new arena and my officers are kind of weak and yeah i think officers are critical to this game more so than just the units like getting a 7.1 to a 7.2 is a big feat and it feels good but having maxed out officers brings tremendous benefit to the game and I even have maxed out officers that I don't even have the level 60, you know, because I didn't grind away at this. 
And so like some of the missions that I choose are usually the 11s because I almost always get um, the 200k experience points. Um, you, you get pretty good stuff on, you know, these 23 hour ones, but, um, you know, you're not always going to get this five of these 200 Ks. You usually get like one or so. So it's a gamble uh, on the 11 hours. I can get for sure the 200 K and I can do those multiple times a day. So that's why I choose to do those. But, um, I mean, I just neglected this one really badly half the time on these daily missions i didn't go all the way up to 100 i did it first but then after you know two three four months i just became super relaxed and just didn't really do that and it, it was a shame and so my officers are slacking so that would be my main point is that like when your officer starts slacking over six months plus uh, you know, your gaming experience is going to get pretty far behind. More people have more maxed out officers they can use on the field. And no matter if I have a 7.2, I still get my butt kicked, you know. I think that's that's definitely a major issue. And then that leads to the next thing when I talked about the research, guys. So, like, when I talked about how expensive it was to do the wheel and stuff like that, I think that on research – City honors was a big deal, and I didn't make it a big deal. I mean, I worked at it a little bit. Military, of course, was number one priority, but I, you know, at first I was like industry, right? Because you got to gather and you got to open up them resource nodes and you got to research faster or have higher production speed and all that stuff. And, you know, looking back on it long term after a year, you know, I, I constantly like when I go in here and I'll just show you. Because I'm not upgrading stuff all the time, I have a lot of materials all the time that are probably stacked up. There's probably a lot of people that have even more than this stacked up because, you know, they've upgraded everything. And so, you know, the grind at first was like, you know, pretty enticing in the industry to think, you know, like, oh, I could produce more material and faster and I could gather faster and stuff like that. And when it came down to it, the amount of time and effort that went into industry, not that it doesn't do anything but the amount that I could have put into city honors to get all the way down here, you know what I mean, to liberation, to where I'm getting, you know, double on everything. So what I mean by that is like this. So let's go into like the battle honors. You see how it says times two up here. So like this one. You notice I got 1600. That's supposed to be 800, but because I get double the rewards, I'm getting two statutes out of that. I'm getting 1600 gold, which means that on the higher one right here, I'm going to get 5000 gold. I'm going to get two more officer statutes, so forth and so on. That stuff adds up, man. And it I just think it's kind of neglected and I wish that I would have done a little bit better, you know, with that especially in correlation to like base city defense like i mean <clears throat> the only good in in the game the way it is now because of course base city defense it ups your durability your firepower of your base it ups you know how fast that it returns or you know comes back to life you know to 100 percent. It, it does a lot of things but like you get nuked so easy in these major battles that you know your base dying is not the end of the world you just put your base somewhere else way in the back and move your units up and still fight with your units you know and i think the only really good thing about the basic city defense or the advanced city defense is the fact that they have like the garrison recovery so when you think about this garrison recovery rate that means that if i'm base to base or close by and my unit comes out and it gets hurt when it goes back into my base it's recovering that much faster that's about the only thing that's really that good and this advanced combat tech is going to be worth way more and think about all the people that spent all those city badges in basic city defense or advanced city defense that they could be smashing the gas on advanced combat and getting way more way more out of it than you know industry and basic city i just <clears throat> guys those things i i just think the the cost to benefit ratio you know if i had to do it over again that it would definitely be different for me. Uh, number three, guys, is the fact of the bunkers. There are many times, uh, you know, when your energy, it 
replenishes every day. It, you know, constantly is replenishing. Uh, and I have the ability to do so many bunkers, you know, uh, per day. I could do them completely free. And, you know, I'm thinking to myself, like, if I did completely free every day, you know, five, six, seven bunkers or whatever, and got the ammo from it, you know, I would be looking after a month at almost 10,000 ammo for free. Now, that's not like a crazy amount, right? But it all adds up. And I could have my units higher because not all of my units are uh, are 200, you know, I'm behind. I don't have all five of them 200. And I could have those constantly higher. And shoot, if I think about like what six months would be, like 60K just free ammo going towards that. Not events, not all the other stuff that I'm already doing, you know, and campaign and stuff like that, like, but just free. But it was so mundane and I was lazy and I didn't want to do the stupid bunkers. It was just, I don't know. I logged in and it was just like boring. So I didn't do it. And all this stuff catches up to you later on. You know, it definitely catches up to you. So all these free events and free items on the field every single day, you know, like just like I said, just like with the, the officers, you know, just. After a while, you get a little bit lazy and lazier, and then next thing you know, you, you fall more and more behind to everybody else that's grinding away with everyday tasks, you know? And the final thing, guys, so that I don't keep the video too long, I think the video is, what, pretty long, 10 minutes already. The last thing is definitely going to be about the army groups. Um... My army group tech is not the best that there is. Um, and I've been in some army groups, but it's not, you know, all the way as high as it could be. Um, and that's mainly due to the fact that while we're on the downtime, while we're free or whatever, I'm not running bunkers. I'm not running groups. I'm not running different things. Uh, and it falls behind. It tremendously falls behind. And for no reason whatsoever, you know, uh, just other than being lazy. And it's a shame because when it comes down to it, I could be running an army group or I could, you know, have better coordination or whatever. And we just overlooked that. We overlooked the free time and the amount that could go into killing bunkers or, you know, just running the groups that you don't even need the energy to collect them. That's not what gives you you collecting has nothing to do. You running the army group and killing bunkers and ravens and different things like that are going to give you those points to upgrade the tech. Not whether or not everybody has energy to accept the bunker or whatever or collect it and, and the ravens. That has nothing to do with the points that you can get. So, you know, the, that would probably be the things that I would do differently if I could go back and start again and start from scratch what I would do differently. That, that would be my best uh, suggestion to you guys. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until next time, guys. Peace.